do not be too quick to show the people your treasure because among those people could be your enemies could be your betrayer could be somebody who hates you because there are frenemies around you people who pretend to love you people who pretend to care about you and yet they hate you and yet these are the same people that are responsible for your misery responsible for your pain for your delays so my brothers and sisters do not be so quick to show your treasures to people somebody could be saying but brother you're speaking of treasure but they think they have no treasure they think that they are useless they think that they are nothing and nobody but my brothers and sisters you are not a nobody you are not here by mistake you have value in you you are valuable you have treasure in you doesn't the scripture say that uh we are of we have this treasure in us we have this treasure in earthen vessels that's what the scripture says you have that treasure in earthen vessels so do not allow the words that you have been hearing from your friends, from your neighbors, from your family, from your relatives. Make you think that it is a truth. It is a lie. Don't believe in their lies. You are valuable. You are so important, so precious in the eyes of God. Brothers and sisters, God has work for you to do. So do not show your treasure to people. You have treasure in you. And that's what the thief wants to steal. The thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. A thief will never steal an empty house. So guard what God has given you with all that you have. Don't just speak words. Guard your heart. Put a garrison on your heart, in other words. Today's word is from the book of Isaiah 39, 1-1. To seven. Isaiah chapter 39 verse 1 to 7 and it reads at the time Merodachai Baradan the son of Baradan king of Babylon sent letters and a present to Hezekiah for he had that he had been sick and had recovered and Hezekiah was pleased with them and showed them the house of his treasures, the silver and the gold, the spices and the precious ointment, and all his armory, all that was found among his treasures. There was nothing in his house or in all his dominion that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went the king Hezekiah and say to him what did these men say and from where did they come from from where did they come to you so Hezekiah said they came to me from a far country from Babylon and he said what have they seen in your house so Hezekiah answered they have seen all that is in my house there is nothing among my treasures that i have not shown them then isaiah said to hezekiah hear the word of the lord of hosts behold the days are coming when all that is in your house and what your father fathers have accumulated until this day shall be carried to babylon nothing shall be left says the lord and they shall take away some of your sons who will descend from you whom you will beget and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of babylon glory to god notice this scripture talks about the king hezekiah for those that do not know the, the background of this uh, story is that hezekiah there was a time when hezekiah was sick and Hezekiah prayed to God. He turned his wall towards, uh, he turns him his face towards the wall and prayed to God. And God added him more years. Now Hezekiah had recovered, and the scripture starts that at thirty nine, saying, "At the time 
Merodach, Baradan the son of Baradan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he heard that he had been sick and had recovered. Notice, when Hezekiah was sick, we never heard the, the king sending him letters. Some of you, while you are going through all sorts of problems, people are not there to help you. People are not there to assist you. You try to ask help from them. They pretend as if they don't know you. But when you recover, then, then they come and send you presents. It is amazing how people uh, act. When you were sick and needed them, they are no longer there. So the king sent him a letter. And notice what Ezekiah did. Verse 2 says, And Ezekiah was pleased with them and showed them the house of his treasures, the silver and gold, the spices, the precious ointment, and all his armory, all that was found among his treasure. There was nothing in his house or in all his dominion that Ezekiah did not show them. Hezekiah was so quick to show them, oh no, I have this gold, I have this treasure, I have this, these are the number of my servants, this is how my kingdom is built. He showed them the treasures. Brothers and sisters, be careful who you show your treasure. Be careful who you show your possessions. Be very careful who you show what belongs to you. Because there are some things that are supposed to be hidden they are supposed to remain hidden remember this is treasure for those that have uh have seen or that have seen pirates you know that pirates go out to seek treasure they steal treasure and remember treasure is treasure and treasure is hidden it's never supposed to be found by into the hands of wrong people that's why it's hidden so who are you showing your treasure today who is it that you, are, you have allowed into your house? Who is it that you have allowed into your family? Let us continue to read and see what happened. Verse 3 says, Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and said to him, What did these men say? And from where did they come to you? Isaiah was a prophet. And he knew exactly what had happened. And told them, what did these men say? Because he knew the nature of men. Ezekiah had not yet understood that he had welcomed an enemy into his house. Now, so Hezek the scripture continues says, So Ezekiah said, They came to me from a far country, from Babylon. And he said, What have they seen in your house? This is the prophet Isaiah telling Ezekiah, what have these men seen in your house? The same question I pose to you. What has the enemy seen in your house? What have you been showing the enemy? Because whatever he sees is that is whatever he will take. The enemy does not know everything about you. He only knows. He will only know information about you when you choose to speak. So guard your heart. Do not allow words to proceed out of your heart. Do not show the enemy what belongs to you. It's like you're trying to give him authority over what belongs to you. So the scripture continues by saying, So Hezekiah answered, They have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in your house and what your fathers have accumulated until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, says the Lord. My God. This was a word. Hezekiah invited people into his house and the word was released that everything that he has or that he has been accumulating will be taken. Brothers and sisters, do not allow the enemy to rob you of what is yours. Do not just show people what God has given you. There are some people 
that you are never supposed to let know of your treasure, of your businesses. You are supposed to keep it to yourself. I have come to the end of this message. One thing that I'd like you to do is leave your comment. Share this message. Let somebody know of this truth. Until next time, Shalom.